Hi everyone, this is Shoshana Kaliski. If you're not following me, go ahead and you'll see a little button at the very beginning of this and you can click on it and it'll automatically help you to follow me. So I'm, I'm standing here waiting for a friend of mine. Let me turn the camera around, beware. This lighting outside is pink and so it's going to make my face really look pink. Here we go. I'm outside. I'm waiting here at the uh, door for my friend to come. How you doing? Yay! I wanted to get on and tell you guys, hola! Three tips for new people who want to do new life scoping. It's called life scoping. Hey Robert, how are you doing? You didn't see it? Well, you'll just have to, you didn't see what, the title? Yay! Hi everyone! I'm outside, I'm waiting for my friend. They're inside. We're gonna go do some late night errands and I thought, what the heck, because she said she'd be about 10 minutes. And instead of waiting inside, I thought I'd come out and talk to you guys about life scoping. Now on Periscope, there's so many different kinds. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of Periscope. What do you call them? Streams or shows. So I wanted to welcome everybody and just say this is three tips for life scoping. Now what is life scoping? I've had a lot of different people talk about it. I actually do life scoping. Oh, with the light, the pink light. This light here is a bug light and it's mostly pink, so it keeps most of the bugs away. Usually bug lights are yellow, but they decided to get a pink light, so that's why it's more pink. It matches the hearts, what can I say? So I'm a master goldsmith and I do a lot of big business, but I also do life scoping, which means I'm gonna go do errands and I'm just gonna get online and I'm gonna say, hey guys, you wanna go do an errand with me? Do you wanna go to Trader Joe's? Do you wanna go out in the rain? Do you want to sit down and eat a dinner with me? That's really what life scoping is. So the, for the very first tip that I want to tell you guys that I've learned for myself is be true to yourself. Be true to who you are and what you believe in so that when the camera goes live, you can basically just be you. Why? <laughs> You're from Brazil. Oh, yay. We're in Northern California and it's raining out. I'm standing outside and it smells so good. Yesterday I worked in the shop. I made, I strung some pearls, some black South Sea pearls, and I made two rings, and I showed one of them. I think they're still up if you want to go see some of the work. Um, and then today I had to work some more, and I talked to different clients and different customers. I also had to work on a different website and a couple other promotional things. But I don't always show my work, so what I do is a lot of life scoping. Helena? You're Helena from Portugal. Wow. Oh, you saw them on Instagram? Oh, yeah. I put them on Instagram. I think I put one on Twitter. And I think I put one on Facebook. I think. I can't remember. The second tip that I'd want to tell you guys about life scoping is don't worry about the titles. Just put up what you're doing. Maybe put a couple of hashtags. Of what, if you're going to go, like, skiing, you might put hashtag skiing. Um, if you're going to do anything, just keep it pretty simple because that's what life's about. Just keeping it simple, being true to yourself. And then the third tip that I would say is stay on course with what you're doing during the day. So like for instance, I'm incredibly busy and I I'm listening to people bang on the back doors over there. Squirrel <laughs> is that I, I, ha I would like to get on and hi, how are you doing? I would like to get on all the time and show you what I'm doing at work, but my work doesn't lend to do that. So I decided to go into doing life scoping and a lot of people call me that. And so by doing it in a timing that works for me, it tends to be more late at night. So that way it won't disrupt my work schedule. I still can make a living. I can still get on and talk to you guys and just be myself. That's what life scoping is really about, is to talk to people. It's kind of like a Skype. It's kind of like anything. So does anybody have um, a channel that you like of some life scopers? I have a couple I love. There's, there's one called Dan and Moore. Not a show, it is. It's about being real. Mine's not really a show. Mine is basically, it's me. It's what I do, it's what I believe in. I talk to other people. Be true to myself and keeping it simple. Yeah, working the timing of my own life, which is really crowded. So sometimes I scope like at four in the morning for me. Because I, the other thing I've noticed, this is like I'm throwing in an extra tip, is I want to keep it consistent. So for the longest time, I scoped every single day for months, two or three times a day. 
Now I'm getting back into the saddle of just doing it maybe once or twice a day. And it's Christmas season, and I know a lot of people out there are struggling with emotional sadness that they've lost family members, or maybe they're celebrating the holidays by themselves. Or maybe they're just really excited and they just are bored and they want to get on to Periscope. I wanted to bring this up because it was Periscope was voted the number one app on the Apple Apple site. And since Periscope is making a big in influence on people's lives, I wouldn't look down on the people that do life scoping because basically we're sharing ourselves in such a small connecting each other. So we have a few people online here, and I want to thank you for the hearts, and I want to thank you for, I'm still waiting for her. She's supposed to come out. We're going to go to Trader Joe's. We have to pick up some stuff for her. She's throwing a party. And so I'm over here. Yeah, congrats, Periscope. Absolutely. And so I thought I would just get on and tell you some tips. When I first started doing Periscope, I was really, really not knowing what it was, and that was in March. And it has since grown. It is huge now. So we're actually having some people watch all of our periscopes on Apple TV. So if there's anybody here on Apple TV, welcome. And this is my life scope channel of O'Master Goldsmith and what I do with my team of jewelers and my life. So if you'd like to join me on my journey through periscope every single day, every other day, just follow me. All right? Well, listen, you guys, I'm going to get going. I'm going to knock on the door and ask her, where are you? And let's get going. It's, and then what I'm going to do is when we get out to Trader Joe's, I'm going to try and get in there. Yay, Diane, I got your text. I'm going to be texting you a little bit later. Yay, hang out with people around the world. Absolutely. Like I got to meet, I, got, I have met thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Thousands and thousands of people. It's unbelievable. So anyways, listen, I'm going to knock on the door. I'm going to say, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Then we're going to get going, and then I'll get back on a little bit later. So until then, you guys, <laughs> it is great interaction. Have fun, and I'm going to go play in the rain with my friend and go to Trader Joe's and pick up a couple stuff for her stuff, for her party, and then I'll talk to you guys later. So be well, I'll talk to you later, and love you all.